Halloween. 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 <laughs> Where do these top Christian YouTubers stand on Christian celebration of Halloween? Halloween. Number 8. DLM Christian Lifestyle. DLM Christian Lifestyle channel is a Christian YouTube channel owned by Daniel Meritz. He tackles several exciting topics, such as what heaven and hell will be like, the truth about angels, and life after death. What does Daniel have to say about Halloween? Now personally, I can't understand this. I cannot understand how some Christians can dress up on Halloween as monsters, as witches, as mages, or even as demons or the devil himself. Because it is evil. And if I were you, I would not open myself up to the devil. I won't give him any footing. Remember, Ephesians 4 verse 27 says, Give no opportunity to the devil. Now, many of you might not think that it is such a big deal. Because it's just Halloween, we're just dressing up, we're just playing. And it's fine. Well, maybe it's because we're so used to living in the world that we forgot that we are not part of the world. And I want to tell you something. A lot of people don't talk about this, but they should, because the Bible is full of it. Demon possession. I grew up with it. I saw how my father helped, prayed for people who had demons in them. And then when they went out, they were 100% okay. They were fine. And they never had a problem again. You need to understand that demons can only go into you if you open yourself up to them. But personally, I will not celebrate Halloween. But that does not mean that I will wake up that day and just think the whole day is evil. No, because every day comes from God. But I will not celebrate Halloween because for me, I see it this way. We are in the world, but we are not part of the world. We are set apart. Number 7. Living Waters Ray Comfort hosts Living Waters, a popular Christian YouTube channel with over 1 million subscribers. Like Off the Curb Ministries, Ray Comfort is famous for preaching to people on the streets, even to gang members. What does Ray have to say about Christian celebration of Halloween? Oops! I'm all out! <laughs> See you next year! <laughs> that was scary! Obviously, you're being a little silly, having a little fun, but this is a serious time. This is an opportunity to reach multitudes of the gospel. Kids and teenagers are going to come to your door. Now, while we don't rejoice on Halloween, it's a wonderful opportunity to get the gospel into the hands of strangers. Ray Comfort does not celebrate or encourage people to celebrate Halloween. Instead, he urges Christians to use Halloween as a wonderful opportunity to share the gospel by passing out candy with gospel tracts. Please help us spread biblical truth. Subscribe and enable the bell icon so you don't miss future uploads. Like and share. Thanks. Number 6. Mike Winger Pastor Mike Winger is a former youth pastor and the founder of Bible Thinker. He publishes primarily long videos on different Bible topics. He also posts videos critiquing sermons of popular prosperity gospel preachers like Joel Osteen and Bill Johnson of Bethel Church. Where does Mike Winger stand on the issue of Christians celebrating Halloween? Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not really excited about Halloween, but I'm extremely excited about the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I hope you take advantage of this opportunity. Mike Winger does not think it's wrong for Christians to celebrate Halloween, mainly because what Halloween means in today's culture is different from its pagan origin. He does, however, caution that Christians should not dress like demons and witches. This Halloween issue is complicated. What I won't do is I won't, I won't say that, that this Day of the Dead person, that who's contacting and doing a seance to contact the, the dead relative, but I, I'm not going to say that they are, they're doing the same thing as this little girl dressed up like a princess going door to door. Like, we cannot say these are the same things, but they sure do all happen around the same time, you know? And they, and they do somehow start to mingle in some places, and so it becomes complicated. Yet you don't want to demonize this little girl, yet you don't want to create a bridge to something weird for believers. And, I mean, if I have my opinion as a pastor, if I could just, like, snap my fingers and make Halloween go away, I absolutely would do it. In a heartbeat, it would just be like, oh, good, problem solved, you know? But I would never get up and preach that you can't take your kid out to get candy 
because some Satanist is doing a ritual that day. Like, that's just, that doesn't connect. One point Pastor Mike should consider is that when you send your kids door to door to collect candies, they might be collecting candies from people steeped in Satanism. You may be opening your kids up to something dangerous. Do you think Christians should uh, celebrate Halloween? No, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> what, is it, what is it about? It's just a bunch of feels more demonic every, every year and, uh, and, and you know, they, they start pumping out all these books and all these movies and all these television programs that are just s satanic fantasies of horror and just awful. No, just avoid it. Number 5. The Beat by Alan Parr Alan Parr is a famous Christian YouTuber with close to 1 million subscribers. While we may not agree with everything he says, Alan is a gifted teacher. He breaks down points in a way one can easily digest them. What's more, Alan is not shy to tackle controversial topics such as porn, divorce, and the Antichrist. What is Alan's view on Halloween? I know you probably want me to give you a black and white yes or no answer, but as you know by now, I'm not going to do that. I am not God. I am not the Holy Spirit in your life. I trust that the Spirit of God is going to lead you in one direction or another. While we respect Alan Parr's sentiment not to tell people whether they should celebrate Halloween or not, we do think, however, that, as a pastor, it's crucial to not only give people points to consider, but also persuade them to either embrace or refrain from certain practices if there's any indication that such practices, in this case Halloween, is something that will likely not please the Lord or harm them. Alan goes on to list five points to consider as to whether Christians should celebrate Halloween. But ultimately, Alan thinks it's okay for Christians to celebrate Halloween if you simply dress up in your favorite superhero costumes and not in demonic costumes. If you are going to celebrate Halloween, if you dress up your kids, yes, you can dress them up in Superman or Superwoman or their favorite superhero or whatever, because ask the question, am I getting involved in deeds of darkness by, by dressing my kid up as Superman? Probably not. But if I'm putting them in some sort of skull and bones outfit or something like that, or if I'm an adult and I'm wearing something that is seductive in nature, would that be considered a deed of darkness that I need to avoid? Probably so. This is what Anton LaVey had to say about Christians celebrating Halloween. By dressing up, either by wearing a costume or coloring oneself for Halloween, is tantamount to worshipping the devil. He also stated, I am glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. Welcome to Halloween. The effects of exposing your children to Halloween may have more severe ramifications than you think. A former Satanist, John Ramirez, said that when you dress up even as an angel or a mermaid for Halloween, you give the devil the legal rights to change your identity. So I'm, I'm talking for 25 years that I celebrated Halloween as a devil worshiper. I'm, to, I'm not talking to you from secondhand situations. So the, one of the reasons Halloween is it's, it is you making soul ties, you making legal, you letting the devil own legal rights in your life. You can even as a Christian, you can say I'm a Christian and I love God, but you're cheating on him on Halloween. When you dress up for Halloween. When you dress up for this demonic holiday, you can dress as an angel, you can dress as like a little mermaid, you can dress as, you know, Casper the Friendly Ghost. When you dress up, you're giving the legal rights to change your identity. You know, a lot of these candies that you, you give your kids and you buy in the stores in Halloween, they are prayed for. These candies are prayed for over the demonic. People have prayed over these candies. They know what they're doing. These costumes are prayed for the demonic. And if you have opened the door to your children on this demonic celebration or a holiday, they call it holiday, I call it demonic. If you have opened your door and you today, you see that your kid has wavered, your kids have left the things of the Lord, your thing is no, your kids are no longer functioning in the, in the Holy Spirit. You need to repent, you need to renounce, you need to cut the rope, you need to give the devil an eviction notice. Number 4. Rustlin' KD Rustlin' KD is a Christian YouTuber who focuses his videos on reactions to trending topics and often controversial topics such as speaking in tongues and slain in the spirit. 
Where does wrestling stand on Halloween? So all you guys out there that are that are upset with Halloween, don't yeah. be. It's not that serious. Mm -hmm. uh, my son dresses up. Uh, they actually had a, a costume party. He was Spider-Man. In a recent video, Ruslan makes a persuasive case for why asking people not to wear their favorite Halloween costumes is inappropriate. You're adding traditions to something that's just not in scripture. There's nothing in scripture about any of these things. You're adding stuff on really because you're weak. You're the weak brother. And that's fine, that's fine. But when we have the weaker brother in positions of authority and leadership, judging and condemning brothers that just wanna dress up. Fam, we just dress up once a year, that's it. We just dress up. And you're gonna sit and judge people because they dress up on Halloween and you don't. It's very dangerous, fam. It's very dangerous, and you're slipping into something that's void of the gospel and void of the power of God. If we toe the line of Ruslan's argument, then on a Halloween day, strong Christians whose consciences are pure can dress up as vampires, witches, a demon, or warlocks, and even wear a sexy cat suit. After all, these are mere clothes probably made in China, and there is no power in them. After all, don't we have freedom in Christ? That is something to think about. Stop putting, addressing your door into demonic activities in your door. That's a door that you're telling the devil, you have right to come into my house, to own my kids, to own my wife, to own my husband, to own my finances, to own my ministry, to own my purpose, to own my destiny. I give it to you. That's what you're telling the devil. I'm giving you permission to come into my house because I already marked my door. Okay, because I knew when I was in Halloween, when I was in witchcraft for 25 years, and the reason I go back to the 25 year situation is because there were different levels how we celebrated Halloween. There were different levels how we put witchcraft on people's doors, depending how they how they dress the door up. You know, when you put pumpkins, you carve out pumpkins and stuff like that. First of all, pumpkin belongs is a symbol of a demon called a chu in the Santeria. When you carve the pumpkin, when you put the pumpkin at the door, you're inviting a principality to come into your house and ruin your marriage. And first of all, a chung is, a, a chung is a demon that hates marriage. So you're inviting this thing into your house, and you can't stop what you can't see. Ruslan may disagree with John Ramirez, but John has considerable experience in this area as someone who was steep in Satanism and had cast spells on those who exposed themselves to the Halloween spirit. You should probably listen to him, regardless of how harmless you think Halloween is. Number 3. Bible Flock Box Bible Flock Box is another top Christian YouTuber who has published popular videos, such as facts about Jesus Christ, Mark of the Beast, and the Mormon Church. So Halloween originated as a pagan holiday which honored the dead, promoted spiritualism. You may be thinking, but what if I ignore the evil elements of Halloween and just dress up as an angel to go out and get candy? You're still participating in a holiday that honors the dead, promotes unbiblical concepts, and you are surrounded by people dressed up as witches and demons. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. So it's better just to avoid celebrating Halloween. However, one thing I think is acceptable on Halloween is sharing Bible literature. Any time is a good time to share your faith, and what better time than Halloween, when people are literally coming to your door? Christians should not participate in Halloween. Instead, we could celebrate Reformation Day in remembrance of the Protestant Reformation. Number 2. Spencer Smith Spencer Smith is a Christian evangelist and a YouTuber. Spencer produced a popular series entitled The Third Adam. What does Spencer think about Christian celebration of Halloween? Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. Just getting my house prepared for Halloween like a Christian should. Amen. So just trying to get all that uh, squared away here. Let's make sure that looks all right. Uh, I think that is lined up correctly. The question should be raised, should Christians participate in Halloween or Halloween? Well, of course not. We're Christian people, so we don't celebrate that to us. October 31st means nothing biblically. It really is just an assimilation of a pagan ancient holiday that we just had this American custom that we go around knocking on doors asking for candy. Kids dress up like Power Rangers. No, I don't think Christian kids should dress up as satanic devils and put blood all over their face and goofy stuff like that. Of course not. I mean, but at the same time, you know, you have a door and people are going to knock on that that door and maybe when they come to your door maybe you should give them a gospel track or give them the word of god give them something so no christians really shouldn't celebrate halloween 
But at the same time, it can be used as an opportunity to give the gospel to people. Just something to consider. But then again, what do I know? I'm just a guy with a Bible. Also, in this video entitled 10 Bible Reasons Why I Reject Halloween, Spencer gives several Bible references to why Christians should not celebrate Halloween. Number 1. Marcus Rogers Marcus Rogers' YouTube channel covers a wide range of issues, some of which are controversial. Marcus, for example, stated in one of his videos that he pulled a snake out of a woman's back. What is Marcus Rogers' stance on Halloween? In an interview with John Ramirez, Marcus Rogers says that Halloween is dangerous and that Christians should avoid it. Why play, a, play around with things of darkness? People dressing up as demons, devils, that's nothing for a Christian to partake in. And we don't say that to be mean, we don't say that to be harsh, but the Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Amen. So you got to get that knowledge. Listen, yes, sir. There 25 years devil worshiping, right? Yes, sir. I never, you never, I was a devil worshiper, high rank devil worship, marks here, marks in my back and everything. I never, 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 you hear sickness say, I can't wait for Good Friday to go mm. to church and celebrate Jesus. Wow. With you. wow. Never. You would have, if I would have crossed the line and when I went to church on a Good Friday, Resurrection Sunday, the devil would have killed me because I disrespected him. Because we never, you never see a sickness person saying, I can't wait to Good Friday so I can celebrate you. But you wait for October 31st Ooh. to celebrate Ooh. the devil. You see that? And one of the big Man. things that he said yeah. that I want you to think about, legal access. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When Adam ate the fruit, that gave the enemy legal access. Yeah. Sometimes it's your decisions. While we believe Christians should avoid celebrating any Halloween on October 31st, we would like to caution that Christians should not be quick to cancel or condemn fellow Christians or Christian YouTubers who think it is acceptable to celebrate Halloween. Halloween is likely one of Satan's deceptive tools for luring many young Christians away from the Christian faith. Unfortunately, many Christians in the West are unaware of demonic activities in the spirit realm. Let's be vigilant and pray for one another.